dear friends, and welcome to the Renaissance. <laughs> uh, you already know, I have been so excited to plan this week with you guys. I just adjusted the, the talk through, so if my voice is like giving out it's because it's like stop talking ho (laughs) so I do apologize in advance but I'm so excited to be planning this week this is the week of July 31st and this is renaissance week y'all this is when I went to go see the queen queen bee the queen of all stankin queens (sighs) Beyonce Giselle knows Carter on the renaissance tour and it just was freaking magical like she's just epic she's spectacular I will be going on and on and on about her in the talk through so I'll spare y'all but um I am so proud of this spread but this base y'all like this base is one of the best it's one of the best bases I think I've ever done. I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with all of it. Um, let's get into what I'm using. So I'm using Diamonds for Breakfast from Crest Press. And this is just amazing art by Sadie Pepper Designs, of course. And I feel like what really makes this spread is the full box overlays and the underlays. Look at those underlays, you guys. I cannot. The underlays, the disco ball underlays are from Kristen's Planner. They are in hollow. Um, all of, well, most of the overlays are also from Kristen's planner, except for a couple that are from Alicia Craft. And I will show you probably one of my favorite ones is from Alicia Craft. And it's the one that says hive that I'm going to put on the tall box in the sidebar. You guys will see it when I get to it, obviously, but I'm just, it's so good. It's so good on that box. I can't stand it. And, um, I do PR for Alicia Craft. So if you want to pick up anything from her shop I was gonna say any foil from her shop but very soon you might be able to pick a pick up kits from her shop which is so exciting so if you pick up anything from her shop you can use my code Anna15 to save and get my stankin cute freebie and if she's having a sale you can mention me in the notes and still get my freebie I'm so excited to see the kits that she comes out with I think she mentioned that she's only doing exclusive art which like hello queen like that's amazing that's that is hard to do (laughs) granted she's had you know a foil shop for a bit now not for a bit but you know she's had I'm assuming success with the foil shops if she's going to be doing all custom art for for the kits which is really really exciting I think she said all custom art I don't know I'm pretty sure she posted that in a story or maybe in a plan with me. I'm not sure. But that's really, really exciting. So definitely stay tuned to what she has coming because I feel like she has so many fun things coming. I already need to put in another order to get customs. I want to get some customs for a couple of like my special weeks coming up. Uh, I have plenty of time, but, you know, I want to make sure I get it in with enough time to ship to me, you know, for processing and to ship to me and whatnot but yeah um I'm so so pumped so if you pick up anything from Alicia Craft make sure you use my code Anna15 but yes that hive overlay is my favorite in the sidebar you'll see it soon and then the just regular kind of I think shimmer is the format for the underlays I used under the disco ball underlays because you know we extra all of us, because <laughs> a lot of us do this, I know. Um, that is just a Scribble Prince Co. mixed metal foil bundle. So it's hollow and sparkly hollow. I think it's I think it's a shimmer pattern, which I think is the best foil pattern that she has. So I use that underneath because the disco balls are pretty spread out. So I thought that it would be cute to use those underneath. And I think it just gives it the right touch of just fun like this spread is so fun and I just loved doing this base I love how the base turned out I hope I know I did a boomerang shot of this base but I really hope I got pictures of this base because now I can't remember and the spread's done so if I didn't y'all just gonna see the spread itself but the base should have its time to shine so I really hope I got some pictures of the base I feel like I must have because like why wouldn't I but I mean, I've done crazier things, so let's be honest. I've done crazier things in my life, but 
Anyways, um, so this will be a talk through. I'm not sure if I like officially mentioned that, but this will be a talk through. So I will transition to a talk through after we get through the base and go through a lot of the day by day. So I am doing this voiceover after I did the talk through. So I can tell you that we talked all about concert day. It was a wild. Um, and then we talked through quite a bit of the day by day. If there are any stickers that I miss, and I mentioned this in the talk through too, but if you see that I miss any stickers like telling you where they're from and you want to know, you can always drop it in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, I think that's it for the nitty gritty. Kristen's Planner, Scoble Prince Co. and Alicia Craft were the full shops that I pulled in. And it's a mostly a hollow spread, but there is like a little sprinkles of sparkly hollow, which I actually really love. Like I feel like that's the right balance for me. So I'm very much a fan. I have to shout out, um, I just have to, I have to shout out Marche from Honeybee Plans. Go, make sure you go and check her out on Instagram and here on YouTube as well because she PRs, well, she used to PR for Kristen's Planner. I don't think she currently PRs for Kristen's Planner, but she is pretty much responsible for all of the amazing quotes that I got to pull in for this spread. Um, Kristen does offer custom quotes. You guys can totally get anything you want want on a box but um, I think how it happened is that Marche had um, a Beyonce quote as her freebie when she was PRing and then I she must have requested like the other Beyonce quotes or maybe she did it as a custom and then Kristen decided to bring it to shop I'm not exactly sure how that went down but I know that she's pretty much the reason that these Beyonce quotes exist so like shout out to Marche because I feel like like I said this really these quotes and the full box overlays just really I think made this spread renaissance like full-blown renaissance um and I'm so happy about it also shout out to Kristen's planner I'm just giving shout outs but like the bottom washi with the um I think it's disco dancing I think is what it's called is so stunning with the fro in the dancing like oh my god it just is another touch that made this spread so renaissance to me and it makes me so stinking happy that's the conclusion the spread makes me so stinking happy here I am using the undo because I didn't end up liking how that looked but you'll see what I do with the sidebar in a minute and I love it I love it I cut up one of the full box overlays that says renaissance world tour or renaissance tour and put them in the two sidebar boxes and I'm obsessed with disco balls you guys I love it so much it came out so good I'm just so I'm so proud of it I don't know I'm just so proud of it so anyways I think that's it for the nitty gritty yeah I think that's it for the nitty gritty so I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the spread um, and seeing how it comes together and the talk through since I know I have my talk through gals that really enjoy um, that format. So this one's for y'all. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have anything else. I feel like I'm missing something really important. All the shops I used will be linked down below in case you guys are wondering. But yeah, I think that's it. Oh, a quick channel update. I know I was fix missing something. So this week, well, this week real time is my B-Day spread plan with me or my B-Day plan with me going up. It's probably going to be the only plan with me that goes up this week. And this Renaissance spread will probably be the only plan with me that goes up the current week that you guys are watching this. Just because I kind of overhauled my August lineup and so... Um, yeah, I'm waiting on some things to get to me. And to be honest, I'm still not completely decided on what we're doing for August, but it's fine. Everything's fine. But I am waiting for a few things to get to me. So it might be a minute before y'all see another plan with me. I'm hoping spreading these out will help. Um, and it won't be too, too long until you guys see one, but it might be a little longer than normal. You guys might not even notice because it might be able to fill. Um, actually, no, I don't have haul stuff coming and I can't do my September kit lineup yet. So, yeah, there might be a break in videos, basically, is what I'm saying. So if you see one, you know why. It's my own fault. I ordered things late because I changed my mind sort of last minute, even though I'm not even committed to that yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting for some things to come in. The plan with me's are coming and I appreciate your patience. 
Let's get on over to this talk through, shall we? But can we have just a minute for this base, y'all? Like this base, this base though is, I think one of my favorite bases ever. Like I, I cannot, like this base is everything with these Beyonce quotes. I, oh, I can't. It's just the hive, the hive, like the hive, you guys, the hive. I can't, I can't. It's gorgeous, oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed with it. <laughs> it's been a while since I actually looked at this face because it's been a lot since I laid it down probably at least a week maybe longer so I'm just gagging all over again I'm so sorry but we're gonna get into the day a by a day so let me bring you guys in okay story time y'all there's so much to chat about <laughs> for this week so I have not done the voiceover for the base yet so I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about so we're just gonna have to work it around it would help if I had the functionals of the kit here we go um okay so things i don't need whoa whoa don't need any of that i don't think i need any of this actually maybe this maybe that's really it okay y'all concert day was just a crazy freaking day I am gonna try to talk about it as I go um, because it's gonna take up the bulk of this stuff. But <laughs> and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to mark on Monday is sleeping in. Cause I did kind of sleep in a little bit, not a ton, but I slept in a little bit. Sorry y'all. I, all right y'all. So real time it is, 11 a.m. and I have not eaten so I just put in an order but it usually takes like a little bit of time to get to me the, this place that I ordered from so I feel like I have a good amount of time to chat with y'all so if I don't and it comes I'll just have to pause and continue afterwards because I need to nourish my body um I did pull my stickies also, my mind is going about a million hours, a million minutes an hour right now. Um, Cause there's a lot going on, but it's fine. So the first thing I'm marking is that I slept in this day and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk through each sticker, but I'm gonna do my best y'all. Once I get into story time for Tuesday, which was concert day, it might get a little cray cray up in here, but I'm gonna do my best. That sleep in girl is from Fox and Cactus. And I'm gonna mark that I went to Duncan this day and I have a cute little sweet Avis paper. Um, I forgot the name, Snowball? It's Snowball, I don't remember. Dottie, I don't remember. One of her characters in just a box of donuts because yes, please, I had coffee and breakfast. Um, this was the day Bestie came, so there was a lot of kind of prepping for that, but I was um, also, yeah, there was a lot of prepping. There was a lot of cleaning and prepping for that, really. Oh, of course I pulled the color that's I can't use. Um, mayday, mayday. So, what do I want to use? What am I marking? Oh, I just have a full ass kitchen sticker from Coffee Monsters Co. And I think I'm just going to use that because I think it's super duper cute. What do we think? Mm, it's going to cover and I don't want to cut it. Nope, nope. So, scratch that. We're going to use this little chef from the Coffee Monsters Co. instead. Actually, that little kitchen scene was a munchkin. I'm sorry, y'all. Why am I a hot mess today? <sighs> to mark cooking, we're gonna use this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Cause I was cooking for Bestie. Cause I was like, we're gonna spend so much money in the next couple days. I'm just gonna cook on the day you get here. And he was like, word. And that's what I did. So I made him some rice and rams because I loved him so much. 
Um, and then I did laundry. So we're gonna mark that. Let's use a pattern. Let me use a pattern. What are my patterns? Here we go. Let's use the navy blue pattern to mark that. So we did laundry. Well, I did laundry, I should say. We did not do laundry. I did laundry before he came. And then he arrived and we went to target and we went to five below so that's what I'm gonna be marking next like I need the little tangs to fit everything so let's do a purple and then we can do a glue do a pattern for that one yeah so let's do purple my nails, please ignore the fact that my nails really need to get done. Like they really, really do need to get done. Um, <laughs> it's time. I think hopefully for the next plan with me, they will be done. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. Um, we'll see. So I'm going to mark that my, my bestie arrived and I have this cute little scribbler from SPC to mark that. I don't think I mentioned the laundry basket is from Paper Me's Crafts, I'm pretty sure. It's an old sticker. And then I'm gonna mark that we went shopping together and these little shopping munchkins are massive. And I don't love that for me on this little thing, but I don't wanna cut them. So I'm gonna have to find something else because I don't like that. And then we had us a good old time. We came home, had a few drinks. Okay. Um, oh, I'll use a little foiled icon because I'm sure we have a shopping bag here. We do. So I'm just gonna pull this one from the foil bundle to mark that we went to Target and Five Below. So that was Monday. Now, Tuesday, y'all. Tuesday. <sighs> what a day. So. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I have to mark is that it's B-Day because like is anything more important? No, like literally nothing. So I'm gonna use this big little thing and I have like this extra extender. So I'm also trying to make sure we're in frame. It looks like we are. Um, I think I wanna put that a little bit higher. Ugh, I straighten it. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, so the first thing I'm marking is, oh my God, crying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Cause it's B-Day y'all. Like I have been waiting for this day, five ever, like literally five ever. And we have, as you can see, extenders upon extenders because a lot happened this day. So, oh my god, it's B-Day. And then I did go to get my hair did this day. So I had a hair appointment, so I'm going to mark that next. I have a lot to mark, so I don't want to use up too, too much space, but I also don't think I need to do all little things. So we'll see. I did not plan this, so this could go very poorly or very great. We shall see. So I did go get my hair did, and Bestie wanted to go too. So I was like, word, let's go do this thing. Then we got food because we were in basically the town around here that has the best food. And he was like, I need you to bring me to this place so I can have some like Dominican food because we don't have any of that in Cali. And I'm like, valid, that's a valid point. Let's do this thug fizzle. So I was like, I got you. Um, I don't wanna eat you. Let's do a blue. I feel like I'm just alternating really blue, purple, blue, purple. Or at least trying to anyway. So let's do this blue here. So we're gonna mark food. It was so tasty. Then we came home, we were stuffed, and it was time to get ready, basically. And, like, 
that's when everything just started to go awry. So we were basically chilling until it was time to get ready. We were just like watching YouTube and whatnot. And then, <laughs> you know, we were dressed, like we were dressed and then Bestie wanted to have a little drink and he had a little drink and then he spilt it on his outfit. It was crisis mode, like especially for him, like I feel like it'd be crisis mode for anyone, but like especially for him, like he really is like takes his fashion seriously. Let's just put it that way. Um, so that happened. He spilt it all over his pants, but he was like, I could see him already starting to freak out as it happened. And then he was like, okay, like I could actually watch the mental picture play. Cause I was like, oh shit. And he, <laughs> he was like ready to lose his mind. And then he was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to wash it. I'm going to just pop it in the dryer. It should be fine. It's going to dry. I'm like, yeah, it should be totally fine. So he goes, runs it in the washer. It's fine. He gets dressed. We're ready to go. I was having like my own outfit shambles, not shambles. That's an exaggeration, but I, I didn't love my initial outfit, which really sucks. Like I didn't like how it looked on me. So there was that, but like, it's fine, whatever. So, um, I ended up just going with, you know, a backup option, but it wasn't my like first option, which was kind of a bummer. So, but it's fine. Anyways, so I'm using an F off squidge from Stick With The Plan Co. This, I wanna say this fork and like utensil plate set is from Whimsy Plans, Whimsy, I think. Um, yeah, so the F off squidge is because that happened and then I felt like I was just rushing a lot. And then when I, we had already left, like we had gotten in the car and I was like, crap, I can't remember if I locked the door. So I went back to check and then literally it just fell on my face y'all like just fell like flat out on my face it wasn't my best moment <laughs> it wasn't my best moment so then and then we like left later than we wanted to so it felt like we were rushing it was just like a whole it was an adventure I guess is the best way I can put it it was it was kind of an adventure so yeah, I'm gonna mark this and then I'm gonna mark a rushing munchkin from Once More With Love because then I just felt like we were rushing because we were not gonna be late for the show or anything, but I wanted to leave at like a certain time and we didn't. So then I just kind of felt flustered. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> there was that. There was, as expected, a lot of traffic on the way there, so much traffic but it was absolutely nothing compared to the way out. Like when we got out of the concert, the traffic in the parking lot, it was absolutely nothing in comparison to that. I will get to that later, but oh my gosh. Okay, what do I wanna use to mark this? I can't use that. I think I'm gonna use some little things here actually. Where are my little things at? Here we go. Let's do this one and let's do this one. Okay, so I'm like, what the hell? Because there's all this traffic getting there. And I knew there was going to be traffic, but I figured, like, I thought we still left early enough to not hit so much of it. But, you know, Pink was in town, and then it's also, like, typical rush hour traffic. So I was like, you know what? You just, just, like, breathe. Like, you're fine. It's not like you're going to be late. I was, like, talking myself off a cliff. I don't know why but I was and this is crooked and I'm not about to live that life not on this spread we are not doing that um so yeah so I marked being in traffic with an emoji coffee monsters co um and then y'all so we got there finally we parked which I had been going back and forth on paying for they have like a prepaid parking option in Gillette and then they have a general parking option which is included in your ticket of course the prepaid parking option definitely went up because I've seen her before in Gillette and I think it was like 30 bucks it's 50 bucks now and like really so I kept going back and forth because I didn't really want to dish out the money because like the tickets were so much money as y'all well know so I was like okay we're just gonna and then day of like I didn't make a decision and then I went in to potentially get it and the prepaid parking passes were sold out. So I ended up doing general parking. Next time I probably will pay for the prepaid parking because 
it's a it's a bit of a hike um which it wasn't that big of a deal but mm, when you think about traffic which we'll talk about that very soon traffic going out getting out of the theater um, or the stadium i should say um you might rethink it you might rethink it um but yeah so we parked we go there's a clear bag policy in effect which if you guys are watching this and you are going to see beyonce or anyone who has a clear bag policy in effect um if it's like the one for b just bring a clear bag so basically they allow they allow you kind of a bigger bag if it's a clear bag i don't know the exact rule so make sure you like check it um you know, in the appropriate venue you're going to be at. But the clear bag allowance size is bigger than a non-clear bag. So you can bring like a really small clutch um, in that's not clear, just like a regular clutch. But the sizes on it is like tiny, like a normal clutch that you would bring probably, like think of the normal clutch bag that you have at home. There's a good chance it'd be too big. And guess which girl did she showed up with a clutch that was too effing big <laughs> so, so luckily they were screening people like before they got up to the gates so they were screening um people in the lot like once you exited the parking lot like right when you exited it they were screening people and being like i'm sorry that's too big they had like signs where you can like measure up your bag to the allowance to see if it would go in and the guy was like, yeah, that's too big. I'm like, are you serious? I was already annoyed and I wasn't even at the gate. Can you imagine if I walked all the way to the gate, y'all? And they told me that. So good on them for having people like triage that early on because they would have just made for some angry effing people. Um, I still think it's a bit much, but I know it's for safety and because we live in the world we live in, unfortunately, um, things like that need to happen, which I get. It was just more of a nuisance than anything else. So we went back and put my bag back, but I used this little girl from Beneva Creations that just looks like, what? <laughs> like mind blown kind of, what do you mean this clutch is too big? Cause it's not, it's like a standard size clutch y'all. I would show it to y'all, but I don't have it on hand, but it's a pretty standard size clutch. So do your research if you're going to the B concert or any concert that has a clear bag policy in effect, which I feel like most do, especially in the bigger stadiums. So just do your due, due diligence and don't be like me, basically. So that happened. And then I was like, okay, well, it's fine. We're here. Like all the, sh all the shit that we have gone through, the falls, the spills, the traffic, the bag issue, like we're here, whatever. Let's do the thing. So we go to the merch um, cart because Bestie wants to get some merch. I would have gotten some merch, y'all, but I just, I've spent just so much money already between the ticket and everything else that I'm just like, uh, I can't, I just can't. And there wasn't anything I really, really loved. There were a lot of things I liked, but there wasn't anything I like loved enough to dish out the money for it. So we waited in line. It felt like the slowest moving line of mankind, but um, Bestie wanted a hat. So I was like, word, let's get a hat for you. Um, and like, that's fine. Like if he wants a hat, like it's all good. But yeah, so that was a thing. And then y'all, then I used a Lottie, I was about to say stick with the plan girl, Lottie from stick with the plan to mark that then we get to the gates y'all and literally probably my worst nightmare is to get to the gates and have like the ticket not scan or some issue with the ticket and you know that's what happened. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So we get to the gate. We scan the tickets with the like gate attendant or whatever. And she's like, oh, that's weird. Like she had me scan it a bunch of different ways. It kept saying invalid ticket, invalid ticket. Um, so I was like, what the hell? Sorry, y'all. As, uh, as I mentioned, I'm watching my food. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? So he's like, you, she was like, go see the guy. Like, I guess the dude that was managing like the ticket scan area. I don't know someone who was managing it. He was like, go see that guy in the red shirt or whatever. And I'm like, okay, so, and it's weird. Cause like I have to cut through other lines to get to this guy, which I know to people who are waiting in line looks so 
annoying like why are you cutting the line but I'm not like literally she told me to go see this dude and the only way I can get to him is by cutting y'all on this line I'm so sorry um, so we're cutting the line which we did like multiple times it was a mess and I felt so bad because I'm like this is not generally my vibe y'all I promise um but yeah so we get to the guy and he's like you know he's like oh that's weird so he's like let me get your email address let me get your name look it up that way I think it only came up like through my email address or something. Okay, I see you have like two sets of tickets here. And I'm like, why? Why would I have two sets of tickets? I'm very confused by what you're saying, sir. So he's like, yeah, it looks like you paid this much, blah, blah, blah. Like, does this look right to you? He's like, yeah, these are floor tickets. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't have floor tickets. Like I picked my tickets for a reason. Like I don't. I don't necessarily want the floor seats. Don't get me wrong, it's an upgrade. But I, like the tickets we had were in the lower section, like right next to the floor. And it was the first row of that section. So there was no one in front of us, which is exactly what I wanted. I was like, this is perfect. I don't have to worry about heads and damn cowboy hats in my way. Listen, y'all, I love the cowboy hats. I do, it's a vibe. But like, just be mindful of the people behind you when you wear those cowboy hats. <laughs> Cause it, it can be a nuisance if I'm being completely honest, but I get it. It's a vibe. It goes with the whole vibe of the show. I understand I'm here for it. Just, just saying, just, just think about it when you put it on. Um, but yeah, so he's like, we have two sets of tickets. It looks like you have four tickets. And I'm like, no, like I'm in section, like so-and-so, like I'm supposed to be in the section, blah, blah, blah. That's the ones I paid for. So he's like, well, you know, where did you get your tickets from? They could be like fraudulent tickets. I'm like, we got it from Ticketmaster, like, bro. Like, stop stop making me more anxious than I already am. And he was just doing his job, like he was fine. But he's like, you know, you can go to the ticket office and see, and I was like, yes. And we kept asking, like, he kept talking and giving us like options and we kept saying like, where's the ticket office? Like, cause at that point we were like literally losing our minds. We're like, where's the ticket office, sir? Like, I need to know where the ticket office is. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you, fewer times in my life have I been that level of stressed. So <laughs> I'm laughing because the stickers I pulled for this are so good. So I pulled, hold on, this is hilarious. So I pulled a breathing in a bag munchkin because I thought it just was so relevant to what was happening because that's what I needed to do. I needed to breathe in a bag immediately. It's <laughs> like immediately. So I'm gonna use that to mark that whole situation. So we get on the line, we're heading to the ticket office trying to find it. And then I'm like, this is so weird. Like I have been to so many concerts, you guys, like multiple concerts in my lifetime. And I have never had any issue like this ever. Hell, even when I did buy tickets that weren't off Ticketmaster, I still never had issues like this. So I was like, what the hell is happening? So I'm like, you know what, let me just check my email and see, like, again, been to concerts a million times, never had this happen. So I check my email and they sent an email last night, I think in the middle of the night, um, saying, oh, we have, we've changed your seats because there's going to be something blocking your view of the show. Like if we leave you in those seats. And I'm like, what? <laughs> What do you mean you changed my seats, bro? Like, what? what? Um, so y'all, it was in my email the whole time. They changed it to floor seats. It's like, oh, we hope you love your new seats. And I'm like, I kind of don't. We hadn't been to them. So I really couldn't say with all certainty that I didn't love them, but I didn't want to be on the floor, y'all. Like there's a reason why I picked the seats I wanted I wanted. If I was going to be on the floor, I wanted to be in that VIP section that's basically on the stage. That's where I wanted to be if I was going to be on the floor. But otherwise, I didn't want to be on the floor. <laughs> like, that's why I didn't pick floor seats. But all in all, it was an upgrade, technically. Like, it's, it's, it's an upgrade from where we were sitting because we weren't on the floor. And it was a free upgrade. So we ended up getting upgraded, which, like, is amazing. But also, I didn't really want these seats. And of course, they're now mowing my lawn. So I shall be back when they're done ruining my vibes. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back and fed. And I think they're done mowing. So let's do this thing. So essentially we got upgraded. They emailed me about it and I missed it, clearly. Um, 
but <clears throat> let me ex let me give some context so because normally you get upgraded at a concert and it's like hey like mm -mm, like yes right and I was still I was excited but it was just like the uh, what's the word I'm thinking of like the like discouraging moment of not having your tickets work and then kind of like the back and forth of trying to find the ticket office and then finally seeing they upgraded you but because of an error on their part which I get like I'm glad they upgraded us because if I would have gone there and my view would have been blocked I, obviously I would I would have been pissed um but like I so initially we got tickets and I actually sold those tickets and bought these seats that then had a blocked view so like this this was a very intentional purchase on my part so that's why i'm like <sighs> but it's fine so i see the email and i'm like okay let's just go back and do like the floor seats because those are the seats because i was thinking maybe i can go to the ticket office and like you know not complain necessarily but see if they could put the seat somewhere else maybe in a similar like similar kind of advantage of being the front like the front row of the section, not the front row of the stage, front row of the section where there's no one in front of us. <clears throat> so I was like, maybe I'll do that. But then I was like, I was so flustered by it all. I was like, let's just go see how these seats are, right? So we go in. Um, the <laughs> the Coffee Monsters Koemodi I used to mark that whole mess is actually from the, this could have been an email sheet. And I just found that too ironic to not use right here. Um, and then, of course, the frazzled, <clears throat> sorry, of course, the frazzled Lottie is from Stick With The Plan Co. So we got to our seats and then I realized because my coworker actually also went to the show. Um, she went because <sighs> she went to the show because someone basically bought tickets for her. And I'm like, what kind of hookup do you have, ma'am? but it's fine so she was at the show and she was actually she sent me a picture of where she was sitting and i was like oh this looks like the section we're now in so i texted her and then she said a quick hello um but she was much closer to the stage than us like if i was in the seats she was in that would be a different story like she was very close to the stage and like not very many people in front of her at all so i would have been down with that seat but alas um, we still had floor seats, so it was cool, but I saw her, so I'm going to mark that using munchkins from <clears throat> Once More With Love. And then, like, we had plans to eat before the show, and, like, with everything that happened, I was just like, I just want to get to my seats and just chill. Like, I feel like I've been through enough today to get here, and I just want to enjoy the moment as much as I can, so... We just went to our seats. Bestie got himself something to eat. Me and Bay were like, nah, we're good. We're like over it right now. <laughs> we're good. So uh, we just stayed in our seats and then we waited. And then she came on, y'all. <clears throat> and she was actually much earlier than I thought, which was amazing. Don't get me wrong. It was phenomenal. Um, let's see. I have a squidge pooled to mark it I just don't know how I want to mark it because obviously the squidge takes up a little bit more space but I think I want to put it right in the middle squidge from stick with the plan co when she finally hits the stage y'all and we were just like living our best lives like our best lives so to mark living our best lives I have a little emoji dancing and wiggling his butt <clears throat> and I thought it was so perfect so I'm gonna mark that and then I do need to mark another little thing underneath let's use this one <clears throat> yeah so she's incredible you guys like legit the greatest entertainer of our lifetime like I don't I, I don't really care how you feel about it like the greatest entertainer of our lifetime like there is no other she is queen for a reason and i'm just i have just uh, my mind is still there like it's still at the concert like it was so fun she is so like she's this is the most interactive i have seen her with the crowd like just like reading signs like chatting with people shouting out people um wishing happy birthdays doing gender reveals <clears throat> she has been so interactive with the crowd 
and she looks so happy up there like I think more happy than she's ever been and like why why the f not like she has a beautiful family she um obviously is successful you know so not always the optics don't always match how someone actually feels but I feel like it does right now like she is in such a good moment in her life I think and I love that for her because we stand we stand um she's amazing I I just can go on and on about her I, I I'm just in awe of her like the fact that I exist during a time where Beyonce exists is just such a blessing like such a blessing uh we had so much fun we it was a very tight like this is the thing with floor seats um first of all I hate those folding chairs they use for flo floor seats like the dingiest most uncomfortable it's anyways stadium seating last but um yeah we had some interesting peeps in the crowd like there was <clears throat> I'm gonna keep moving and then I'll finish up Tuesday but I'm gonna keep moving with the rest if you guys have any questions on any of the stickers I use please just leave a comment down below I'll get back to you but if I stop while I'm doing this you guys are gonna be here five ever basically so <laughs> um oh sorry oh, I got distracted because there's a truck but I think it's the post office looks like the post office anyway um anyways <clears throat> it's kind of late for the post office they usually get here much earlier um let me get started with Wednesday so we had it's always interesting to me y'all why do I keep picking out I swear to you I keep picking out the color that the glitter header is like I keep doing that <laughs> here we go um so there was some interesting people in the crowd like I'm always like me and uh Bessie talk about this all the time because like we've been to several B concerts and there's always someone who like doesn't know what's happening but yet have the best seats in the house like <laughs> Bestie went to one without me I know I know sad times for all involved um I don't remember which one I think it was the first on the run tour she did with Jay-Z and he was like yeah me and who he went with we're sitting there and this older couple comes along and asks them who's playing tonight. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? So let me get this straight. You walked in to a sold out stadium show and you didn't know who was playing tonight? I, I need, I need $500 million. That's what I, I need to be rich. I need to be that level of rich. Because, you know, those seats were not cheap. Because um, we tend we tend to try to get pretty good seats when we go see her. So there were no cheap seats. And I'm just like, well, what? <laughs> the what the hell? Um, and then this time there was what seemed to be a dad and his daughter. But his daughter was young. Like, I don't know maybe nine maybe ten like young uh, like definitely like renaissance is more of a you know grown folk kind of album <laughs> you know i mean there were some like a handful of i would say younger kids like teens maybe um or you know like you saw some of that but for the most part it was it was a pretty adult crowd there so I was kind of surprised to see like this girl that just looks so young and looks so uninterested, which I expected. Um, so she, and she's wearing a black hoodie y'all and me, me and Bestie, we get down when we go to these shows. And I felt bad because I definitely, like definitely hit her once, like definitely, accidentally, not intentionally while I was dancing, but it's because it's a concert, so it's black then she's not standing. She's already little. She's not standing. She's sitting. And then she has a black hoodie on, on top. So like seeing her in this sea of people <laughs> with the lights and all that, like is very hard, especially also when you're in the moment of getting choreo down pat. So I definitely hit her. And then when we left the concert, Bestie was like, yeah, I definitely smacked the shit out of her. <laughs> I was like, what? 
He's like, yeah, it was an accident, but like, I couldn't see her. And I'm like, I know, I couldn't see her either. I felt bad, but also like, like it was, it was evident that nor the dad nor the little girl were into the show. So I'm like, why do y'all come? Like, I really need, y'all, I'm gonna be 1000 with y'all. I really need to be rich <laughs> because is this how y'all got it? This is really how y'all got it. <laughs> I could not I could not anyways um yeah so it was interesting we have like interesting crowds around us there was like one person that kept eyeing bestie because he cute y'all he's very cute um but he's gay so like I was like sis I'm barking up the wrong tree sis but that's okay you do you um so it was it was a good time it was a good time but it was funny so yeah, there was an interesting bout of people. I feel like um, this crowd, oh, I feel like we were so close with the mute, you know, everybody on mute. We were very close with the mute, y'all, but people started screaming at the end and they ruined it. And I have seen some hilarious, hilarious memes about this. Hilarious memes about this. Oh my God. Where they'll show like hive members just telling people to shut the F up. It's quite hilarious to me, actually. Um, <laughs> so that was that. And then I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, Blue came out for our show is amazing. It's amazing. Beyonce is incredible. Like she's otherworldly. The amount, the amount of detail and intentionality that she puts into everything she creates, not just this show, but into everything she creates is really just next level. Like there just won't be another. There just is not going to be another one. Uh, I don't care what y'all say. There will not be another one like her. Um, and I need to go to another show. So I'll try to do my best to put in a little bit of like clips of the show throughout this. So you guys can see. I'm not sure if I'm going to do sound just because YouTube and copyright is like rough. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, but I'll do my best to put in some clips at least of the shots we had. Bestie got some great shots because he has one of the newer iPhones. I forget which one. I think 13 Pro or something. He's like one of the pros. So his shots were so good. So I'll try to pop some of those in. Um, but we had such a blast until we left. And then <laughs> we sat in the parking lot for like two hours not moving and when i tell you guys not moving like not inching forward not like stop and go i mean literally not moving at all for two hours all right y'all we're back i don't entirely remember what i was talking about but i think i was saying i don't know was i saying we were stuck in traffic forever i think that's what we were saying <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all it's been a day but we're gonna get through this plan with me if it kills me and it might so <laughs> um we were stuck in traffic forever and then we were trying to find an open like forever we got home at like 3 a.m y'all the concert probably ended at like 11 30. we got home at 3 a.m it's far from us but it's not that far <laughs> so we really were there for a minute and then we were trying to find an open like 24 hour McDonald's. Ooh, we're definitely gonna have to cut her. Okay. Um, we were trying to find a 24 hour McDonald's. I really want her to be like, kind of like this. So I'm cutting it weird. Hopefully it doesn't look stupid, but it might. <laughs> Um, and I went to like three different ones. Oh yeah, this is fine. Oh yeah, she cute. I like how I cut it. Okay, good. Um, and I went to two different ones before I finally got to the one that was 24 hours, which was the one closest to my house. I swore that that one was not 24 hours and it was literally the only one in the area that was a 24 hour McDonald's. So we got there, the food was garbage, probably cause like no one's going through the drive through so I don't have to keep everything fresh. Like they're not running it out and producing it like they would during the day because it's 3 a.m. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah, we finally got our stuff. We had to wait forever because they were having issues with their machine, too. So it was just not a fun time. Um, 
I do not remember what I was talking about. Hang on, y'all. I'm going to find out because this is going to bother me. I'll be back. Check. I was just talking about being stuck in traffic, so it's all good in the hood. Um, yeah, so it ended up being the McDonald's closest to me, and it took forever because they were having issues with their machine or whatever, so yeah. It was not the best and then we got it and it was terrible it was like cold it felt like just not fresh basically so yeah super fun super fun times over yonder um but yeah that was tuesday <laughs> so basically in summation a hot mess of a day with the exception of beyonce just on those carter who is just otherworldly amazing and i just don't understand why people don't get it like i don't I don't understand why people just don't get it. Anyways, moving on to Wednesday, we definitely slept in. This will be quicker than my very long <laughs> drawn out stories from Tuesday, but we slept in, like definitely slept in because we got in at 3 a.m. So we, well, I ordered breakfast for everyone because I was like, I'm not going out. Like it's just, it just feels like being hung over the next day, basically. Um, the sleeping girl is from Fox and Pip. The pancake sack is from Paper and Milk. Then we basically were just watching each other's videos and sharing them. Um, so we can post some of them or just save some of them to look back on 25,000 times. I have rewatched my videos personally probably like 20 times or so since showtime because... It's just, it's, it's just such a moment. It's just such a moment in time. And I'm so blessed to be highly favored, <laughs> basically, basically. Um, so yeah, we shared videos, we watched TV, I showered, and then I had to bring Bestie to the airport because he was leaving me again. So sad, so sad. And then um, there was so much traffic on the way back. I had to do so many back roads. So when we left the concert, when we left Gillette on Tuesday, you guys, I was in like pitch black back roads and I was driving. And then I also drove Bestie to the airport and he had a late flight. So when I came back, we were also in pitch black um, back roads. But on airport day, it was because um, they were doing some kind of construction on the highway and the GPS was like, I have a much faster route. And I was like, word, because there was already a ton of traffic around the airport because of so much freaking construction, basically. I'm kind of over it. Mass. Do you hear me, Mass? I'm over all your freaking construction. Like, take a chill pill. So, yeah, it was a lot of windy, dark back road driving with the need of, for high beams. Luckily, I was with my boyfriend both times. Well, I was with Bestie and Bay, so um, one of the times. And the other time, I was with Bay, and that helped because alone, it's so creepy when all you can see in your rearview mirror is like pitch black darkness. If you're driving by yourself, y'all know what I mean. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, I miss this time in my life already. That's how much I loved it. I just... I had my bestie, I had Beyonce, I had a good time, and you just really get to disconnect. Concerts are my favorite, y'all. I go to so many, so, so many. I go to concerts way less now. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, what are you saying, women? I go to concerts way less now. Um, of course, COVID, obviously. And then, you know, my body just ain't built like it used to be, y'all. And I don't want to see everyone. That's one thing about seeing Beyonce. Like, everyone needs to level up. Because now I'll go to some shows and I'm like, mm. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> like, I wouldn't spend money on just anyone anymore. When I was younger, I would go see everyone. But she just puts on such an incredible show that it really can look some other show, make some other shows look like garbage to be honest with you so yeah that was such a highlight of the day and I'm just so excited then moving on to Thursday as you can see I can't even stop talking about it this is going to be the longest voiceover or voiceover longest talk through plan with me in the history of life and I do apologize in advance for that 
but also like this what you came for so um what was i gonna say let's do a blue let's do a patterned blue and then let's do this purple doing some little things so then on thursday i went back to work i'm still working remotely so i was like i'm not gonna take it off like i'm not really doing anything I, I really like to save my time off for when I have to go into the office because I absolutely despise the commute. Like, I hate the commute. The job, fine. Coworkers, cool. Commute, trash. Like, utter garbage. So I try to save my time off for the most part for when either I'm doing something or I can avoid commuting. So when I work from home, I really don't take that much time off. Um... So yeah, so I was working remotely. I went back to work this day. We had a meeting, had a couple meetings. I had a training for my new role, which has officially started. It just started this week officially. And it's kind of crazy. Like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, holy crap, like you're, you're a boss. You're a boss bee. Like take a moment for that because you never suspected you would be like never even tried to be to be honest with you and like here we are the lord works in mysterious ways blessed and highly favored up in here y'all anyways um and then i just marked watching youtube and poor bay started getting sick this day like he had the worst cough like it was so bad he would be hacking up a stinking lung at night you guys He's doing better now because this was like now two three weeks ago probably by the time you guys are seeing this maybe a month um but he was just i felt so bad because he would wake up just hacking up a lung and it was like a really bad cough so i just felt really bad for him um but that started this day and then we did get some takeout i don't remember what we got to eat this day but apparently we got some takeout for thursday so a uh, moving right along to Friday the 4th. I don't even know what happened this, these days. Let's see. I can't remember what happened on Friday the 4th. What happened? Oh, I didn't get any sleep because of the coughing. So <laughs> that's the first thing I'm marking because, yep, my coughing definitely kept me up. And I needed coffee. So I marked coffee. I don't want to use to mark coffee. Let's do, should I do blue? Let's do this blue. Actually, no. Let's do this purple, I guess. Yep, I had coffee because I was dying. And of course, this was another work day for me. I love this coffee cup girl. I feel like I need to restock. She's probably one of my favorite coffee girls and it's from Odd Loop, which I feel like people forget by people I mean me that they actually also have like little characters because <laughs> I'm so used to their kids but I love that one and then let's mark what else did I do this day I was on the phone phone I think I was on the phone with my supervisor I'm like who was I on the phone with or I was on the phone doing house stuff which y'all the amount of house stuff like this morning I had an electrician come in and this afternoon I have a plumber coming the second one because there's just so much house stuff going on and you know every time these people come they want to charge you three arms and one leg so there's that it's not my favorite thing in the world but that's happening whether we like it or not. Uh, what do I want to use here? I guess light purple. It's light purple. So I called, I'm not sure if I called my supervisor or if I was just on the phone with freaking electricians and plumbers and shit, but I was on the phone with somebody. And then I did Target drive up order. This is one of my new stickers from Sticky Perks. So cute. And. What else did I design? I don't remember. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong day. No wonder. <laughs> uh, everything is right on here, though. I was looking at the wrong day for trying to figure out who I was calling. Um, 
I was calling Delta to fix something with my ticket for my uh, trip to Orlando in the fall. So that was that. And then I had my drive up order and then I just kind of worked, honestly. I think uh, it was one of the days where I did a lot of stuff in the morning and then worked in the afternoon. The perks of working from home, y'all. Working from home is it. I love working from home. I just have so much more freedom and it's about to end and I'm not ready. Um, and this little laptop girl at her desk is from Whimsy Plans to mark that. Okay, now we're on to the weekend. I feel like the weekend was just so wildly uneventful in comparison to the rest of this week, especially the beginning of the week for obvious reasons. So I'm gonna be using some bigger um, boxes to mark things because like, I feel like nothing, virtually nothing happened this weekend. Like I don't have anything fun that happened this weekend. Um, okay, so we have coffee. And let's see, I'm not sure what I have pulled for the weekend either. I pulled stickers for everything but the weekend, but I have lots of little leftover stickers to mark things. So I'm gonna mark coffee first on Saturday. And then I once again got delivery. I've been obsessed with this little like breakfast spot lately. It doesn't take much. I feel like I'm always obsessed with some type of food spot. This is my latest obsession and it's a delicious. I actually just ordered it today when I told you guys I was waiting for food. It was from that place. It's so good. Um, let's see, do I have something to mark it? <laughs> it's basically like an Uber Eats. So I think I'm gonna mark ordering the food with this cell phone Maru from Paper and Milk. Plus it matches the spread perfectly, that purple. And then what else did we do? I played Xbox and I filmed. That was the totality of my day. So let's mark playing Xbox. I just use this one purple. I feel like I need to put blue in here. So let's use this to mark playing Xbox. I've been just obsessed with that damn Disneyland game. I don't think I finished it, but it's not like telling me like what else to do. So I'm just kind of running around, <laughs> which I know doesn't give much context, but yeah. And usually I play it, well not usually, I always play it with Bay because he's better and I'll just have him finish the rounds that I just cannot do. Like if I've been on it for, if I've tried the round like three times already and I can't do it, I'm like, I need you to just do this for me. And he does because he loves me. So <laughs> um, we have that. And I think that's also from Whimsy Plans, those controllers. And then I did a ton of filming. And I think I did a voiceover too. So I'm going to mark that using... I already used that one. Hmm. I think I should use a pattern, but I feel like I've used most patterns but I guess I'll use another one I guess I'll use this one and I'm gonna mark filming I'm actually gonna mark the voiceover it's more of a voiceover one with a pink diamond planner co diamond squad girl and if you guys don't know, I do PR for Pink Diamond Planner Co. So you can use Anna 15 to save if you order anything from her shop, which you should, just to be clear. You should definitely because Tasha's stuff is so great, especially the mysteries. Highly recommend the mysteries. If you're new to my channel and you haven't watched a haul where I haul a Pink Diamond Planner Co. mystery, I'm a very big fan. Let's just put it that way. Let's just put it that way. So, um, let's see, I marked that, I marked that. And then I think I'm gonna mark sleepy time using this little switch. Because otherwise it was kind of a boring day, which I kind of needed a low key day. Like I feel like my body was still very much recovering from what was the renaissance of my life. Um, okay, cool. So Sunday, 
what do we have here for Sunday? Let's see, sleep in, I have a little sleep in sticker. What do I want to use to mark it? I think I'm gonna use a square box. Where's my square boxes? Here we go. Let's see, use, I'm gonna use a star. The navy blue star pattern to mark another sleeping. And this girl is from Whimsy Plans. Like I said, if I miss some stickers, please leave a comment down below if you wanna know where something is from and I neglected to say it in between stories and whatnot. Okay, hmm, nope. Oh boy, I don't know what to use for this. I want to use another pattern, but these other stuff don't really fit. Well, I think this one fits. Let's see, is this too big? Does it fit? Uh, it fits. Oh yeah, it fits. Okay, cool. Let's use this to mark, this is usually the day I go see mom and dad, but let's see, what else did I do? I did, yep, mom and dad, and I have a mom and dad sticker here. Perfect. I was helping them around the house. Sunday is usually my day to visit them anyway, so that's always getting marked. And then what did I do at home? It's like I just watched YouTube. It was a very like, again, boring kind of day. Just pretty much watched YouTube. And I might've filmed, did I film this day? I might've filmed this day. I don't know, because I was kind of out of it <laughs> the first, I feel like for the rest of the week after the concert, I was just like, what is my life? Like, what is my life? Um, we got takeout. I filmed, I'm pretty sure I filmed. I didn't write a ton down for this, but I did write YouTube. And I think it's because I filmed this day. So I'm gonna mark filming. And that munchkin is from Once More With Love. Then I'm going to mark that we got some takeout. I'm just putting this one here on the bottom. And then I'll put something in the middle. Let's see what I'm gonna put in the middle. Probably have to do a pattern because I have no more solid fancy labels. So let's do this one because this is the only one I haven't used. So we can mark food with this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Sorry y'all for the little ding. And then, what are we gonna mark? Oh, there's nothing else, I just went to sleep. And of course, I don't have a sleep one pulled, do I? I do not have a sleep one pulled, so I'm gonna have to pull one. Let's see, actually, let's see if we can pull it off of the foil sheet. Yes, we have a pillow. Let's use, should I use the pillow or the mask? I'm gonna use the mask. Yeah, let's use the mask. So the little sleeping mask is from the foil bundle to mark sleep. And that is finally it, y'all. I feel like this spread has been, this talk through plan with me has been a bit of a whirlwind because there were lots of starts and stops, but we are done. We are finito and I'm pumped about it, so. I'm just obsessed. I'm just like literally, I'm unwell at how good and how amazing and how much I love this spread. I hope you guys enjoyed the talk through. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I feel like I was kind of rusty, but hopefully it was a good time for y'all. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna post pictures of this one on my IG. If you guys aren't following me on IG, go follow your girl Cafe with Anna on Instagram. Oh, let me, let me flip through what's left. Whoa, because I do have quite a bit left, actually. Quite a bit left. Let me flip through what's left. So foil from Kristen's planner. We have a lot of foil left over from SPC. More Kristen's planner. Those underlays made the spread in my humblest of opinions. Here we go. Flipping through everything that's left, y'all. And that's it. All right, now we can do the outro. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Um, and 
thank you so much for watching through all this. Y'all the best. And I will see y'all real, real soon. Bye.